Oh, man. Oh. Yeah. Definitely scratch that one up. I flipped it and it came right back up again. That's like... Whew. Easy there, Sky. <laughs> Oh man. Oh. She's never gonna look the same after today. Oh, I lost the body. Oh, poor little car. Oh man, that body. Poor thing. Oh, it's. Oh, it wrecked that sucker. Oh, it's uh, shattered the dog bone in there. Yeah, that shattered that right off. I was like, whoa, where are you going, man? This is a, I mean, yeah, it flips and it's unstable as heck, but it's fun to drive. I just feel bad now. I mean, this is what, second run of this thing and it's destroyed. Oh, it's almost like a trick now to get it back off this roof. Get out of I shouldn't be laughing, oh my God. All right, I figured I'd give you a little update in regards to the WL toys here. It's got a brushless system in there, obviously, because it's going a lot faster than what it was bone stock. So it's got a 5800 KV motor that's in there. It's got a Team Orion electronic speed controller that's in it. It's just kind of mixed match stuff. And then you got the Traxxas uh, TQ, which doesn't really give very much range, but it was, I lost control. I didn't show it in there, but it, I was like, stop, stop. And it just smacked into um, a lip on as far as the curb or whatever like that. So yeah, there's some scratch, not, there's not some scratches. There's a lot of scratches on this thing, but you know what, at the end of the day, oh my gosh, this thing was a lot of fun. And I really don't have to explain it because you can hear it. Had a lot of fun with this vehicle. Now I did go ahead and put a, uh, oil filled shocks in the rear and left the, the front with those, um, what do you call them? Friction shocks. So yeah, super bouncy or whatever, but I kind of like it just because when it comes down, it was like, boom, just kind of bouncing a little bit. Just kind of made it a little bit more fun. Yeah, it's hard to control it and what have you, but it was still a lot of fun. Now, uh, you probably want to know what's underneath it, but I want to kind of show you one thing, just bone stock. If you do this, you know, it's like the tires. So if you're trying to turn, I really don't want it. It doesn't really turn because it's going to turn it into the actual body itself. So you can see like scraping here a little bit, but nothing like what's on top after I flipped it. Now, this is because the fact that the other thing is, uh, I only gave it about 50% as far as power on this thing, but it was running a 3S LiPo. So let's go on and take a look underneath this thing. All right, so there you go. What I did to this thing, I hacked it up, man. So I had my buddy Scott coming over and I was like, all right, let me see if I can get this thing put together, just throw something together, put a brushless system in it, and let's have fun. So this Venom battery fits in there just about perfect. Um, the way it's notched, well, if you can, the way it's notched here kind of goes with the way it's a little bit kind of rounded a little bit there. And then over on this side here, it just fits. So it just fits in here. This battery is just like perfect for it. Put a little Velcro strap around the actual brace of it. 
So got a little foam piece that's in here. I also, this had a big old piece of plastic because this thing actually, the way you put the battery in was through the bottom. Yeah, not anymore. So um, I made it a lot stronger by, like I said, putting epoxy in there because I took a lot of the integrity out of the bat or out of the chassis. So that got a lot of, lost a lot of rigidness from the chassis. So that's what I had to put some epoxy down there, fill in the gaps and just kind of make it a little bit stronger, thickening it up. So that's what I did on that part of it. And just kind of come over here with that 5,800 kV motor. This is the actual heat sink that came with the brushed motor. I went ahead and just stuck it on there and I put mounted my little switch here. This is all temporary stuff, you know, whatever. Just hot glued stuff in there and made it work. I put a different servo. So all the electronics in this vehicle were completely gone. So nothing is stock on this at all. Servo, electronic speed control, because this was a two in one before was, so anyway, you get it. So that's that on that one. Now, and, but it, man, it was just a lot of fun, man. A lot of fun. This is a cool car, cool truck, buggy, whatever you want to call it. Now on to the Habao. Now, if you want to know what the other car is next to it, that's the Red Cat Clawback. So you can kind of see that a little bit more. So the Clawback is a, yeah, it's huge. So you got one seven scale here. Then we have our, you know, when it comes to one fifth scale. So beast of a truck. So just so you guys know, it's actually a pretty good comparison because it's matching up the uh, wheels with it. But anyway, get back over to this one. Stop jumping around, Joe. <laughs> so when it comes to this, anyhow, it, it blew the pinion gear off of it. That's the second time I had, it came stock with a 16 tooth. I put it to a 14 tooth because that's what I had available and it came off. So I went ahead and I got some different um, Loctite uh, blue stuff still. I didn't use any red because the red stuff is pretty much like you put it on there and you pretty much have to forget it. You're not getting it off. So anyway, yeah, got some more blue. So I'll go ahead and try that too just in case mine's expired for whatever reason. But nonetheless, I still need to adjust the suspension because it's got wobbles. Now I know this thing is designed to be a basher. It's designed to go off-road. It's not really an on-road. Take it on-road, you know, onto asphalt, whatever, concrete. It's not really designed for that, but that's kind of like what I like to do. And it gets the wobbles. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it to an open field. I'm gonna see how, if it wobbles there, I'm gonna still adjust like the camber, the toe in, toe out, all that stuff a little bit. I know that the uh, Habao told me to do some stuff. It was a little bit too much and I'm not really gonna jump it so much. I know you guys are like, oh, what are you talking about? You're not gonna jump it. But anyway, I don't know how much I'm gonna jump it as of yet. I wanna kinda just see how it's gonna perform. I want it to perform how I want it to perform, which means that I needed to get it stable for me to drive it for me. So, because for whatever reason, this thing, I want to take it on road and it just has problems. And also, as far as the differential, it's got, it's too loose in the differential. So all the, a lot of the power goes to the front, as you guys can see in the slow motion, get pizza cutter wheels, not a big fan of that. And I would like to go ahead and get that thing retuned. I would like to get different tires. And I'll be honest with you, the tires I had, um, so the Arma vehicle, which is the Creighton version four, 6S, this had great tires on there because they didn't balloon and they it kept the vehicle very stable. These are gonna balloon, I know they will, because they're a little bit thinner, just to absorb a lot of that those jumps and what it's designed to do, but I wanna kinda make it so it can go faster on road. So, might be something I do, or maybe some, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but you guys can leave comments down below what you did to tune it, and if you, rode, if you drove yours on road and you didn't have any problems with it, but mine's got some serious wobbles, so gotta figure that out. I figure it's maybe the tires are fighting each other as it's going down the road, that might be something there too. So I'm gonna have to, I'll get my little camber and uh, alignment tool and see what I can do to get everything where it needs to be. But for now, that's where I'm at. So <laughs> anyway, appreciate you guys watching as always. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And uh, I'll put a link in the description below if you guys wanna get one of these. It is a brush system that comes with it. But if you wanna make it all crazy, then uh, yeah, you can do what you wanna do. And yeah, this is no, this is no fault. I mean, this thing breaking, it's no fault of WL Toys, man. I was pushing the limits beyond the limits, but loads of fun. I just gotta get that thing fixed, but it's a lot of fun. Anyway, catch you on the next video. You guys take care and thank you again for watching.